guys, in this video we are going to be taking a look at uh, the Android x86 project. Now, if you've never heard of this, it is basically uh, a, a pretty interesting thing that uh, a group of people have uh, developed. And it allows you to run Android on an x86 computer, which is pretty much uh, most computers. Uh, so. Uh, all you have to do is go to the site, which I will have down below, and you have to download the uh, ISO file, and it's not really that large. And you can either uh, burn it to a uh, CD or a uh, USB flash drive, as I have here. And you can actually run Android uh, on a PC, which is pretty cool, as Android is actually made for, or most people believe that Android is, you know, for phones and uh, tablets, pretty much all of uh, mobile devices, but it is actually based off of Linux, so, and Linux can be run on uh, PCs, so they found a way to run Android on a PC, so that's what we're going to be taking uh, a look at today, so I'm going to zoom in here, and this is a uh, Toshiba Satellite L305D dash s5974 it's a very long name but uh, we're going to be taking a look at android on it uh, all we have to do is plug in the usb flash drive and we're going to turn on the machine and we're going to press f12 to access the uh, boot menu which should come up here and we're going to go to usb which is number five and is now going to start loading the uh, Android x86 uh, menu here. So I'm going to show you that we have up here. It says Android x86 Live and Installation 4.2, and this is actually Android 4.2.2, which is the newest version of Android as of this video. And we're going to just uh, run Android uh, x86 without actually not uh, installing it on the hard drive, because you know I wouldn't want to overwrite my Windows partition on this, but. You no, know, it, it is going to actually load here, and it's got to like uh, extract it to, uh, I guess the uh, uh, flash drive. But I, I think it does store some some parts of it in the uh, RAM of the computer, which is actually pretty cool. Just booting off of a of a uh, live CD, just like you would uh, if you were trying to do the same thing with something like uh, Ubuntu Linux. They have the same type of feature where you can actually try it without actually putting it on your hard drive. So we get the uh, Android welcome menu that you get when you first get a uh, a stock Android device. Now if you get something like a uh, Samsung Galaxy S4, it may be a or it might be a little bit different because they have, you know, their own uh, uh, Samsung software uh, on top of uh, stock Android. But you see we do have a, uh, a mouse cursor and we're just going to click on start. And it's going to start loading everything. It just says just a sec. And this actually takes longer than just a sec. So, you know, we're going to, uh, I'm probably going to uh, edit this part out. Okay, and we are now at the uh, Wi Fi uh, network selection screen, which I'm going to select my network. And I'm going to enter the password here. Okay, it is now uh, connecting to the network. And it says, if you can see up there, uh, it said that this tablet is turning on Wi-Fi because, you know, it thinks this is a tablet, but it's really not. It's a uh, full PC. And it's, and it's asking us if we have uh, a uh, Google account, and of course I do, but I'm not going to actually uh, sign into it on this PC because it's just going to uh, just delete everything when I turn it off. So I'm not really going to bother with that. And we're going to get the uh, like Google policy things. We're just going to uh, agree to all that. And again, I'm not going to bother entering a name because it's going to get overwritten when uh, it turns off because it's a live CD. So we we agree to the Google services agreement and setup is complete. So we can finish and we get an Android uh, wallpaper. And it's going to ask us to go to the app drawer type of thing here. So it's just telling us the same things that Android would tell you when you first turn it on, first use it, and you can see we can use the uh, the mouse just as if you were like swiping back and forth through these pages. It is just a little bit harder because you know we don't we are it's not as easy as just swiping it with our finger. 
but we can go to like something like the browser and we can actually browse the web which is pretty cool so let's go let's say I want to go to I don't know let's go to um, a YouTube channel so we'll type that in we'll go to that and it's going to load the uh, mobile YouTube because we're on a mobile device uh, is what it thinks but of course we're not we're on a uh, full laptop oh uh, yeah you can see all of my videos here you can see my banner and yeah pretty cool and we got see, see if we can actually watch a video so let's go here this is going to be like the standard uh, YouTube player so let's see here I can probably want to turn the volume all the way down because it's going to get okay we are having a little bit of uh, problems actually showing the video of course I think there is like a bundled app that is just for yeah here it is an actual YouTube app I should probably want to just use that instead so here we go and again just the uh, standard YouTube app that was on would be on Android so now let's try to go to uh, one of my videos yeah, it's going to open up, and we'll go to uh, why not my uh, Mozilla Firefox video. And you can see here, it's just the buffering here. And we can click play, make it full screen. Yeah, we have to make it full. I don't know why it's not. Like, there was a problem. Click hit any key to retry. Yeah, maybe it's not going to play. So you know, maybe some things don't work on this because you know I'm not. You know, you, it's really not what you would get from like a full Android tablet because you know some things are, aren't going to work but you know this is actually a very good way to just run Android uh, if you don't really have an Android device and you want to use it just you know if, you, if, if you're using something like uh, iOS or Windows Phone and you're thinking about uh, moving to Android you can just uh, download this put it on a CD and run it and you can see if you like it or not uh, before you actually pay the money to get uh, something like your phone for the next two years with your uh, two-year contract or if you're not you know you just get your go phone or whatever but yeah you know we got all the standard uh, Google apps and what that I do, do like about this is it is uh, stock Android because I would actually uh, prefer stock Android over you know most of the uh, uh, variations because I like uh, just the plain Google experience of because you know it's just what I like I know most of you probably are are not like that but you know we got here here's a clock here you can drag that on oh, god it's a little hard to use this thing uh, but let's try to change the uh, wallpaper here if I can swipe over here okay let's go to live wallpapers and you can see we get the list of the uh, Android live wallpapers so let's use the uh, Nexus one, which I think is pretty cool. So we'll set this as the wallpaper. You can see here, and it does actually work with the uh, when you tap. It just makes little. You can like actually uh, interact with it, which is pretty cool. So uh, let's go to the settings here, and I can show you uh, something else that's pretty cool. We can go to here we go about tablet, and you can see here that it actually shows the manufacturer as Toshiba which is the maker of the laptop and the um, model number is satellite L305D and then Android version 4.2.2 so you know it does actually uh, recognize what it what it is running on which is pretty cool uh, so, so yeah that is pretty cool and then for the build number it says Android x86 user debug 4.2.0 so it's much like Android x86 stuff and let's try to add an, an account it's gonna ask us for Google so we're not gonna do that because I oh, know we don't want to do that so let's go back to settings here and you can change uh, standard Android settings you have storage here view, view your storage you can actually mount uh, a USB drive and so you can pretty much uh, actually uh, store things on it like a separate drive or on the same drive that you're booting this from so you don't lose any of your settings so you can actually use this as your own like operating system as your full operating system if you have like a um, like a laptop or a PC that can't really run uh, 
like a full OS or if the hard drive is broken or something like that, you can just run something like this. And you know, you can swipe down and get uh, standard. And it is, actually shows my battery, which is pretty cool. And it is charging, it is plugged in right now. Let me zoom in on that if you can't see it. But yes, that is actually uh, my battery. I'm going to assume that that's the right for our percentage because it, it was dead uh, before that I made the video. And I let it charge for a bit. So it is it's charging. We can go here. Charging AC. And battery usage is not available. We get the same battery chart that you would on Android. Swipe down here. Let's go to uh, settings. Why not? So, hey, it's got all, all your quick shortcuts. And of course, we're not going to get actual cellular service unless you have like a uh, like a 4G LTE or 3G like card in your laptop. You know, yeah, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. This has just been a, a quick demo of Android X86. And uh, yes, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.